We hungry, man. We is back. Special episode. Food trucks, man. You know what I mean? This is not just somebody that I know. I just go eat. This is real family right here. You know what I'm saying? What's your full name? Frank Avelli, man. What you mean? Malachi. What's his name? News? I don't know news real name. <laughs> Roberto. <laughs> Roberto. Armand. Oh, oh yeah, Armand. Armand. He know. I didn't know news real name because it's a story behind how this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We from different different sides of, of the yeah. trap. So yeah. tell them how we. You know what I'm saying about Trap Kitchen? How crazy it got? How y'all link up? And what's the story behind it? Man, me and bro been rocking since I was in high school. One of my homies from my neighborhood. One of his homies from his neighborhood. They cousins. So. They, they start hanging out, and that's how me and News got introduced. A few years later down the line, past Club Spank, I decided to go to culinary school. But me and him still kept in contact. I would come home every weekend and just hang with him. We'd be hustling, doing shit. And then one day, he was just like, man, we, we, we tried to get in trouble because we, <laughs> we doing too much. You feel me? We going to jail. I'm getting, I got beat up by the police. You feel me? Remember that? I remember that. Yeah, so I was like, man, we need to figure it out to, to switch uh, the narrative. You feel me? So we came up with Trap Kitchen. Selling food at his grandma's house. You know, I, of course, I had a decent uh, size following on Instagram. So I would post my meals on Instagram and in the caption, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell you how to order. You feel me? We really pioneered the uh, social media underground restaurant scene. You know, yeah. We started that shit, yeah, for the record. You feel me? <laughs> but um, the shit just blew up. Kendrick Lamar had, came out with the Noisy Bumpton um, mm -hmm. documentary. They featured us in there. And after that, we started getting calls from production companies and started going doing TV and doing different shows and just. It really blew us up. How'd your homies feel about you guys working together? Shit, I mean, we went through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, but I'm just saying in a sense to where like, yeah, you guys are adults, but like, yeah, nah, there's always like knuckleheads that never grow out of shit. No, nah, yeah, right. yeah, no, nah, we still to this day, you know, you gonna have that. But yeah. First of all, we respect it in the streets, nigga, sure, yeah. in our hoods and in the city. Like, we respect it, so it wasn't none of that. You feel me? But like, you know, people like, what? Try selling food? Like, kind of just like Haiti on yeah, some weird yeah, shit like, until it cracked off. Then they jumped on them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. How, how, how many trucks now? This is nine trucks later. How many How many restaurants? Uh, Two, two and a half, like, you feel me? Cookbook too, right? Two oh, cookbooks yeah. later. And I'm gonna say this too. Niggas wasn't eating the pineapple bowls and doing the shit yeah, like that bro. before Big Bro and them bitches. Them mustard ass niggas over there in the UK, man. They, took, <laughs> they stole all our, stole our content, stole our, Stole everything from us. We coming. We coming for we you coming. bitch ass niggas on the dead homies. Like, yeah. And, and, and have you guys always loved cooking? Yeah. Like, since I've been cooking since I was 11, bro. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. You feel me? What was the first thing you ever cooked that you were like, damn, I could really do this shit maybe? Breakfast, like eggs and uh, waffles. You know, just as I got older, moms had two jobs. You feel me? She would start the dinner and leave the shit out for me to finish. It was easy enough for me to finish. And then, you know, I took a liking to it. I see grandma cooking, my uncles, aunties cooking, and I just kind of, you know, mimic them and did my own thing. Then when we got to high school, we used to be at the house cooking and shit in the backyard, barbecue and shit. Just it was kind of natural, bro, for real. Right. Yeah, yeah. And they parties was different. That's all yeah. I'm gonna say. Oh yeah. Different. Oh, yeah. It was freaky in there. Well, Not just freaky. No, uh, it was different. Dangerous. Dangerous, but <laughs> but, <laughs> but the, it was cracking. But up. the respect we had. It's respect for sure. Bloods, Crips never come together. Like, nope. And this is back in '09, like when it was really cracking in my backyard. I mean, you have. The whole West Side Powers and the mm -hmm. whole Nutties or whoever mm -hmm. shooting dice together. It's the craziest shit ever, bro. I'm talking about real shootouts, real enemies, like, though. Yeah, like, real enemies. Like, and, it, and it was like, we had Spank Crib. That's how much the respect level is, like, you feel me? We, like, you know, we good role models. And we just turned it around, like, into something positive, you feel, feel me? Like, shit, shit been working. And that's what we, make the story even, even better. Well, you know what I mean? That's the draw in right there. And it's crazy, because it all involves food. You guys, that you guys are cooks and stuff like that, how hard is it to find a woman that cooks better than you so she could be oh, A lot of girls are intimidated. Yeah. They scared oh, to cook for yeah. yeah. I don't want to cook for you. You're going to judge me. Like, nah, man, I like regular shit. Make some spaghetti, fried chicken, tacos. That's the type of shit I like. Wait, wait, keep it G. If she a bad cook, does that make or break? Since y'all know what y'all nah, doing? Nah, hell no. Nah. Nah. I got this. Stay out of the kitchen, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. But, but let's stop talking about all this other stuff. Let's actually taste the food. Uh, yeah, what we eating today? Today I'm going to make y'all a cat daddy, man. It's, a, it's, it's like it's like a spinoff of our rich boy and rich girl, which is a Louisiana Southern po' boy sandwich. 
But it's a catfish and shrimp sandwich, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's no. Oh, he don't do the shrimp. Okay, no shrimp for you. We're gonna do straight catfish. Okay, perfect. I'm, I'm, right. I'm, I'm down to try everything else. Right. I just don't want to die. All right. What, what else <laughs> you got on the menu? Yeah, every that, man. We got lamb chops too. Ooh. Deep fried lamb chops. Yeah, okay, okay. Deep fried lamb chops. Yeah. Ooh. All right, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Spank news. How should we eat this first, man? Y'all the chefs, man. Y'all got all this Y'all take a bite. Y'all take a bite of y'all sandwich. That's the cat daddy without shrimp because yeah, Duno allergic, is allergic. allergic. And we have the cat daddy with the shrimp. You feel me? And how should I eat this? Do I put sauce on it? Just, the just sauce like is that. already on there, man. All right, cool. Grab it and bite in. Cheers, man. Duno. Oh Jesus Christ. Cheers. <laughs> Come on, man. No, fire. This might be one of the best single dishes that we had on the show so far. Is it him? It's all in his beard. It's him. <laughs> it's him. I love the bell peppers. I'm a fan. Spice, you like that spicy? The deep fried shrimp with the sauce. This sauce is crazy. So what is this, broccoli? Deep fried broccoli. Deep fried broccoli right there. On a healthy tip. The sauce, the sauce is for the broccoli. Deep fried broccoli is crazy. I've never had this. That sauce, man. Try that sauce. Nigga, hold up. That's the first time I ate a full broccoli. Yeah, you gotta try this, man. Try the broccoli, yeah. Hey, you ready? It does taste like chicken. Come on. It tastes like chicken. Like chicken. Try it. Kelvin, come on, man. You gotta try it, bro. Come on. We not gassing it, bro. We not gassing it. Yeah, don't gas my episode, Kev. No, we ain't gassing the episode. Reactions. Hold on. Let's get the reactions. The still kind of soft, you know, but you get the crunch. Yeah. Our editors eat, man. And when you guys put deep fried broccoli, were people kind of confused? No. Did they ever question it? Like, hey, what's. No. Never? Never. Yeah, like. We had to have a vegetarian option. You know what I'm saying? That pairs with our garlic noodles, so said deep fried broccoli is the best choice. Eat your vegetables, kids. All right, do know. Have you had lamb before? Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. This is deep fried, though. I know, that's what I'm saying. It's a little different. We ain't on the diet today. It looks crazy. Toast. Toast. Nigga, what kind of sauce is that on there? That's TK lamb sauce right there, man. I ain't gonna lie, this is still my favorite. You don't taste none of the gamey flavor in this lamb. And it's deep fried, which is good, but the sauce, it bring this shit out. Damn, got a nice crunch on that motherfucker. Hold up, this shit right here is crack okay. <laughs> that sandwich is crazy. Damn, you knock it down, I don't feel fine. But I could say avocado would have been a... <laughs> Avocados, my shit, they would have some avocado, it probably would have been for me right there. I'm gonna add that to the truck. Yeah, man, avocado, it's good, yeah, think about it, it's like a... It don't taste like shit, but it's like called the Duno Special. They call it the Duno Special. Man, with some avocado? With, that, with the addition of avocado on oh. the sandwich. Mm -hmm. You get it the Duno way. Avocado's crazy. <laughs> so, Duno, you gotta do a pop up with the hummus. We gotta do a pop up. We, we, we do some avocado. Deep fried avocados. Ooh. Oh, deep fried avocado. I like avocados, but I'll try that. <laughs> you like avocado? Man, I don't know. I'm allergic. Bro. Wait, for why you say like you beefing with avocado? Yeah. Beefing with it. <laughs> now, on sushi. I fuck with it. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. This is, you know what I'm saying? Look at this. They got the real recipes in here? Yeah. Hey, I got an extra one? That's you. That's you. That's me? Yeah. This is going to my bed. Tell them about some of the recipes in the book, what they got to look forward to. Okay, so this is our new cookbook. Well, let me let news tell them because I got food in my mouth. And we're going to put the link in the description so when you watch this episode, you can buy the cookbook, you know what I'm saying? So we got 50 recipes, mac and cheese recipes from all over. So we did like different countries, different continents, states, and we just picked like different proteins. Maybe they known for a cheese or a noodle right. and we added to the mac, you know? Of course, our well-known trap mac is in there. Pineapple mac. I can't show y'all too much because y'all got to buy it. Oh, but I'm going to give y'all that one though, look. Come on now. It's in Target and Barnes & Noble. On, Target man. can't even keep it on the shelf. In the black author section. Uh, black excellence at its finest, man. That was uh, Food Coma Boys. Food Coma Boys. You feel good? I feel good. Shout out to Sandwich, man. That shit was good. We're going to add avocado next time. The Do No Special is coming through. Shout out to Trap Kitchen. If you see them all through LA, you, you tell them we man? sent you, you might not get a discount, but try. And then we got, you know, we got. 
Trap Kitchen with Monty too, you feel me? Yeah. She got some of the best burritos in town, you feel me? I'm gonna keep it real with you. Her shit's different. Yeah, man, shout out to News, shout out to my guy Spank. Man, get the cookbook. We hungry, you about to see us at the next spot, let's go. We hungry, we back with another one. Tiny Cuz is here, he's accompanying us, go ahead. <laughs> tiny cousin, tinier, tinier cousin. And tinier cousin. Yeah. We here with Chef Creole. I've been hearing so much about the spot. First of all, tell them about how you got started, it's the establishment, and what's the what's the best shit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, well, I just opened the truck a year and a half ago, but about six years ago, I was really trapping, selling plates out the crib, in the hood, all that. I came up, I started cooking for a bunch of different celebrities and such, and now I got my truck and we out here in the streets. Dang, how long did it take you to get your truck? Um, about three and a half years. Congrats to you, because that shit is not easy. So what we doing? We, we popping on the truck or what? Let's hop in, man. Oh! Sorry, you made y'all a few things. I got you some shrimp po' boy sliders. Oh! cobbler waffles and chicken. This is our number one seller, the oxtail and mac and cheese egg rolls. Oh! Okay, so definitely we're going to save the best seller for last. So let's start with the mac and the sliders. Is this family recipe? Nah, man. I mean, my family kind of taught me the basics of how to cook when I was younger. Let's see what's going on, man. You ready? Come on, fuck it. See, real want to dig in? Let's go. We digging in, man. Damn, let her put the plate down, asshole. She not on the tape. Smack it. I can't even eat with two big niggas, you know what I'm saying? I got one scoop, half the shit going already. Look, golly, bro. I'm saying, so I can get you for catering right now. Oh, for sure. I mean, is anybody, because you do celebrities, do, are you going to go to the small people That's house right. and shit? I do everybody. I so said, you're going to do no to house. everybody. Fuck you, bitch. I'm more, <laughs> I'm more poppy than you, bitch. <laughs> this, is, this is some different type of mac and cheese. Yeah. What's the inspiration behind this mac and cheese? God damn, Duno, give me this shit. Over the years, I try so many different people's mac and cheese. I feel like a lot of people's mac and cheese is dry. So I just want to like give like the creaminess, like the all creaminess. the way through and through. Like I don't like all that dry I shit. A lot of people that be putting their shit in the oven and then it get hard on the edges. Yeah, I don't, I don't, like, I don't that. like that. I do I not like, like that. that. Let me get a slider, man. Oh, Hold shit. Hey, Y'all done fucked up the whole slider. Gotta get the pickle with it. Gotta get the pickle with it. Gotta get the yickle. What you think, Zero? Okay, I love the sauce. You know what I'm saying? I like the uh, savoriness. You know what I'm saying? Why you, why you yeah. do a for you like that? I like that. You know what I'm saying? I love the um, the lettuce in there mixed with the pickle. You gotta have it all together. You gotta have a pickle. And it tastes like you put some oh. some love into this. Look at him. You know, you don't know what to do. I just want you to try the peaches in the same bite. She gotta set it up the right way. Let's go. What you think, my boy? Rock with the fire. Nigga, peach cobbler? What the? Set me, set me up, please, chef. Gotcha. I want to do it. I want to do it the right way. They're not barbarians, man. Yeah. Is that peaches in there? Yes, yes it is. Nigga, eat some. Wow. wow. Nigga. I was just saying that. Right there? That's my favorite so far. Yeah. That's not even close. That's your favorite? Nigga, the peach cobbler with the chicken? She didn't set me up, but I'm going to taste this pizza. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I got you, I got you. Come on, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, with the peaches though, damn. All right. Now, the winner, winner, winner. Let's see, the winner. So, this is the oxtail. Oxtail and mac and cheese. And I love me some goddamn oxtails, man. Right, look, I'm gonna get you some oxtails over rice, right, too, so you can Ooh. try the oxtail by itself. Give me that Damn, fool. Talking about who's barbarian. You ready? Right, Toast. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> see, right? <laughs> Let's go. Nigga, everybody can't make good oxtails. Jesus, we smacking. Got the oxtail. Usually when you got oxtails, you only get a little bit of the meat. You know what I'm saying? So she got all of the meat in there for you. Don't worry about nothing. This shit is seasoned so fucking well. It ain't overpowering. That motherfucker is just right. It's probably this right here to slap your mama Cajun. You know what I mean? That shit was great. Ooh, the, ooh. Bye. She got to pack that up. She got to pack it up. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Trail, get back over here. Hey, look, I know we feel me. We hungry, but can I buy one of these to go? <laughs> hey, can y'all make me want to go? See, Ray, what you think? Get busy. Get busy. Over the rice. Let me see. Just remember, she the goat. 
Nigga. I love rice. <laughs> yeah, hit the T-Rail, go ahead. I smack. That's crazy. Y'all girlfriends don't know how to cook like this. Yours, <laughs> yours either, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going in for third. That shit right there is crack. I gotta back up from this shit. You gotta back up from this type of shit, though. That shit is ridiculous. That shit is crazy. It's so crazy. You know how it's so good when you want you 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 don't chew it enough. I barely chewed it. Right here, this is different. I ain't gonna lie though, the the egg roll ones are my favorite. Where they go? Oh, they gone. I'm over here looking for them. Nigga, we smashed them motherfuckers. I smashed them waffles too. You feel me? You might as well just take the whole plate out of her hand, AD. I ain't gonna lie. Just take the whole plate out of her hand, AD. You know, that's I would've took it, but right you only, only got one hand. Plate, you, you didn't take the whole plate out I of her hand. I would've took her hand, I mean, took the plate, but I only got Good. one. You gonna have that same reaction. Come see Chef Creole, this motherfucker crazy. She got T-Rail to eat. This nigga ain't, ain't he ain't ate since Tupac died, you feel me? And he been, he been hungry since then. Now my boy, he got him eating. I really appreciate you, man. That shit was good as Chef Creole, tell them where they can find you. Please. You can find me at Color Me Creole LA on Instagram. Uh, the food truck is uh, Chef Creole's Bistro, and we're usually in downtown LA Wednesday through Sunday from 5 to 10 p.m. on 12th and 4th. There's nothing left to be said. Chef Creole got it. I mean, since we just started this show, definitely top two already. I'm gonna say it off the bat. Now, Oxtail, you watch this motherfucker, We Hungry, and you come to Los Angeles, make sure it's a must. What's the deal, you know what I'm saying? We hungry, we back, you know what I'm saying? This is my show now. I got my yeah. co-host, AD, you know what I'm saying? And Duno with me. And we got a very special guest with us here, you know what I'm saying? Burger guys in the building. If y'all want to know the secret to me being skinny, this is it right here. So I need to eat here. Yeah, you need Duno to eat. Duno need to eat here, too. Well, I ain't here before. We you know, let's just put out there, shout out our vegans. We don't judge. Just because we're not yeah. vegans doesn't mean we don't support you vegans. Maybe I will turn today. Yeah, maybe I'll turn today. Smack it off the phone. Yeah, Smack man. is here with us. Yeah. Hi, right, bro. Tell them your name. Tell them about Burger. What's the, the plots on this, man? How'd you get started with this shit? Because it's booming now. What's going on, y'all? My name KP. Uh, welcome to Burger Guys. It's the best vegan burger in the world. What's crazy about this? <laughs> that I've had this before, actually, down the street from where I filmed one of my other shows. I was like, man, I'm trying to try something. The hunger was like, there's a, there's a burger spot across the street. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going. And then it was like, oh, this is vegan. What you think though? So I'm like, no, nah. I was like, I'm down to try, I'm down to try this shit. It was good. So I got the tater tots with yeah, the burger, yeah. and then I got something else because oh, the tacos. Oh, yeah, tacos, tacos, yeah. yeah. yeah tacos. And because I was like, uh, oh, in my head, I'm like a vegan burger, not gonna fill me up. I need to add some two tacos and the tater tots. Yeah, yeah. What made you get started, bro? Uh, shit, really, just going vegan and just not being able to get a good vegan burger in LA. Oh, okay, what year did you start? Uh, 2018. 2018. Yeah. 2018. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Better late than never. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's get this shit cracking. Let's get it cracking. Chef shoes and shit, you see what I'm saying? We really slob this bitch, you heard? Man, I know your big ass ain't vegan. Yeah, yeah, you vegan? I'm more plant-based, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, they oh, turn me, bro. Oh, 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 we get my man right. Don't worry. They got me right. They got me right, man. Right, 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 that nigga is not vegan, nigga. Oh. Hey. He lied, he ain't vegan, yeah. <laughs> bro. stop lying, bro. Since Duno been losing weight, I've been doing it. Tiro, 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 he said I'm vegan. <laughs> he eat that vegan cheese, man. You feel me? That vegan cheese going crazy. My nigga gave me a vegan soda. You know what I'm saying? Vegan cream soda. Don't worry about nothing, you feel me? Everything vegan on this bitch, man. Is it good? This shit fire. All right, we hungry, man. This is burger. This look like any regular burger. Like any regular burger. I didn't add a little bit of tater tot. Uh, this is the burger right here. So it got fried onions, fried jalapenos, cheese, special sauce, lettuce, pickle, tomato. Ooh, and what kind of, um? because this just look real as fuck. I ain't gonna lie to you. So what is that? What is the actual burger made out of? Uh, pea protein. So it's pea protein. Um, we seasoned it and marinated a certain way so it tastes like a regular burger. 
Cheers, brother. I've had this before, so I already know the. Let me see. We're good in it, but. Right but you know, shout out the homies' reaction right now. Should taste gas, huh? Bro, that's me. They lying. <laughs> <laughs> they cooking with me, dog. They cooking. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, hold on. So I think y'all lying, fool. They lying, bro. They lying. They lying. This shit's stupefying. It's, and exactly what they say. It tastes like an exact burger. This the best vegan burger I've ever had. Look, look. Best vegan like burger or best burger? Yeah. Best vegan burger. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to my homie. Now, if I can, if I can eat shit similar to this on the regular, I wouldn't mind converting over. You, you feel me? The plant based. It's just so hard to find good plant based meals. You know what I mean? What was the hardest part about being around family? Like when you became vegan? Man, she just not being able to eat shit for real. Damn. So do you take like your own plate to Thanksgiving? Something like that. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, something like that. But you know, like, they always kind of look at you like, they just kind of look at you like, why are you vegan? Like, why don't you just eat what we eat? What's the cheese made out of? Uh, coconut oil. Coconut oil is not free. Hey, I got oh. something for you. That's the warm up. I like steak. That's a teaser. You see what I'm saying? That's just to get y'all. Well, I'm gonna finish this because this is a good ass burger. Just as a hamburger, this is fucking fire. Everybody was talking shit. I've been trying to get them here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I told you that. Started before. Okay, okay. T Rail did good. I can appreciate it too because I got a spice to it. Uh, I like spice, you know what I mean? Nah, that's a fact. It ain't overpowering. This is a good burger overall, you feel me? And the fact that it's vegan make it crazy. Well, we I ain't gonna lie, I'm keeping the buck with you. When we first opened this truck, I was 330 pounds, my nigga. Lost yeah, 120 pounds off this shit. Damn. Eat it every day, huh? Yeah, we don't want with no guac at. You know what I'm saying? Right, this, right here, right here. This one, yeah. Hey, this Wagyu. This, this very guy's Wagyu, you heard me. Yeah. Smell, it smell right, it's seasoned right. All right, man, let's see. Let's yeah, go. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's the right. That's right. 23 right there. Look at you, Lauren. Come on, man. And shout out your tortilla for being hella soft. Wow. Let's talk about it, man. What talk it tastes like? It. it tastes like a regular fucking taco. Is this mushroom? If I brought nah, that mushroom. Uh, I was say, yeah. even if it is, nobody would know. I'm like still gonna eat this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nobody would know. Nobody would know. If I brought that burger home, no, nobody would know. I mean, my homie done sold his soul or something. <laughs> <laughs> no matter no sense. This is pure witchcraft right here. Yeah, well, way right. easier on your stomach too. The, nah, the, 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 last, right. the last thing we got, we got that breakfast sandwich. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta try that. My man's making that up right now. Sausage, egg, and cheese. All right, man, let's eat this breakfast sandwich first. We're gonna make muffin yeah. mixed yeah. yeah. riddle. Yeah. What y'all gonna do? Man, what y'all gonna do? Cheers. McGriddle, who? Did y'all hear that shit, man? That's a hash brown, cuz? <laughs> like I like the hash brown on there, you know what I'm saying? The cheese. You could come there breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And dessert, nigga. Breakfast is my favorite little year in the man. Pretty good, man. Breakfast sandwich, don't worry about it. That's like breakfast, man. Tacos and worry about it. Mm -hmm. Now let's try the sweets. Now let's try the sweets. <laughs> Let y'all do the honors on this one. Oh, it's hot, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah, yeah, you only got one hand, so you can't flip it. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh, bro, it's okay. She can further get how we do. We go back and forth. You gotta hold this shit like this. Fried Oreo. It's fried hey, Oreo. This fried Oreo. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, man. sir. Fried Oreo, man. All vegan. Yes, sir, oh. man. Y'all go check my boys out, man. And fried Oreos. They doing dessert. They doing breakfast. Okay, they got look. burgers. Turn the top fries. <laughs> Rate it one through four. For me, look, look. Look, for me, for me is the burger number one. Okay. Because you ain't yeah. this number two, okay. number three the tacos, and that's number last for me. All right, All right you know taco tacos probably tough for you to even like. Yeah, no, 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 but look, but look, but look, 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 look. I got, I got, I got the same yeah. score as you. You can't beat the burger. No, nothing is, nothing is top on the burger. But this dessert, <laughs> that's number two. Number yeah. two for sure. Two. Your stomach not gonna hurt. It's not gonna rattle. You're not gonna wake up in the morning walking like this. You shit. would know because you take big shits. <laughs> big <morning>. shits. <laughs> Big shits in the morning. Shit, Massive yeah. shits. All right, man. Hope y'all like today's episode, man. Shout out to my guys over at Burger. Uh, Thank you, Tiny Cuz. Yeah, yeah, get in the front. Right, Thank you, Tiny Cuz, for bringing them through. You know what I'm saying? 
Hey, man, y'all let us know who's your favorite out of this episode, man. Tune in for more We Hungry. We out. You hear that, man? You know what I'm saying? What you need, you know what I'm saying? We gonna get this shit popping no matter what. Give you some sauce, some pickles, some lettuce. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a truck. No, my nigga. <laughs>